Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Brian Delmada, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this retro VHS effect. Now this preset that I created involves multiple effects, so I'm going to be going step by step, showing you what each effect does and how to tweak it to your liking. So the first thing I did before I even applied the effect or the preset is I went to Lumetri Color and I just made everything more contrast heavy, brought up the highlights, the whites, brought down the blacks, bumped up the saturation a little bit. If you want to get that old look, bring up the faded film look, it's under creative, kind of just makes it a little lighter. And then other than that, brought a little bit of the curves and I tinted the video a little bit green. So what you're going to do is once you import the preset by clicking import preset and then getting it from wherever you downloaded, type in Brian Delmata or just type in Brian, probably the first one that comes up and you're going to toss it on there. It's going to take a second because there are a lot of effects. And once you get it, this is what will happen. So now I'm going to be going step by step, showing you what each effect does and how to control it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off all these effects besides the first one. So the first effect is Gaussian blur. I brought this up to four just to give it a little bit less sharp of a feel, or if you want to make it look even softer you can bump it up i would suggest probably anything under 10. so what channel blur is going to do is it's kind of going to separate the colors i don't know if you can see i'll turn it on and off again it kind of brought up if i bring the red up it will bring up the red from here i just did a little bit of the red five on the green and the blue the next effect is wave warp there's actually two of these so the top one is going to give you these line effects kind of like that where the two images are coming together. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the recording, but once you apply it, it kind of adds a subtle effect, but it's definitely worth it. It's kind of like the interlacing effect. Now this next wave warp is little lines that come down. It's kind of like tape damage. As you can see here, they're kind of coming down real slow, like now I don't include this in every single clip. I just include it in some. It kind of adds a little bit of variety. And when you add it in every single one, it almost makes it feel like a preset, which it is. But if you can make the viewer think that it's less of a preset by changing it, then that's a benefit on our end. So the next effect is noise. It kind of just adds a little bit of grain. Uh, I keep it on seven. You can bring it up as much as you like. The more you bring it up, the thicker and more noticeable the grain will be. As you can see here, I brought it up to 41. It's very noticeable. I would say keep it anywhere from, I guess, zero to 20 ish once you start going above 20 it just starts looking a little out of place and kind of like you added the grain on to color balance hls so when i turn this on you're going to see a little shift in the color and the overall image is going to get a little brighter and a little bit more saturated so i brought the hue negative five it kind of just makes it an off color and just giving it an old camera feel the lightness bringing it up five does a very similar thing to the faded film look so if you don't want that just turn that down to zero and it will remove the lightness and then the saturation i just bumped it up three it doesn't really do much it just adds a little bit more punch and kind of ties it together now onto one of the last clips of vr digital glitch so this effect here as you can see just popped up it's a little tape damage at the bottom of the screen now if it's not at the bottom of your clip just use the right of the point of interest and bring it to where it is right at the bottom and then you're going to want to keyframe the subscaling i started it off at 50 and brought it up to like 62 at the end it all depends on the length of your clip or whatever so what that's going to do is it's going to keep it moving as you can see here instead of just a still image and then in the actual VHS effect, you can kind of see it here. It's like a little tape damage. It's not the same. That's the only thing I could think of to get it as close as possible. If you guys have any better ideas, leave them in the comments below. And lastly is crop. It just adds the four by three aspect ratio, giving it that VHS vintage look here. All together, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Honestly, compared to the actual VHS camera, this preset came out very close. I'm really happy with it. So if you want to download this preset, the link will be in the description. It's 100% free. And if you guys end up using this preset, either tag me on Instagram or reach me somehow, comment in the YouTube section below where you used it, and I'll go check it out and give it a like. But that's it for today's video, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Peace.